Welcome back, folks, to more Let's Play Wallace and Gromit's Grand Adventures. In the last episode, uh, we were caught by Monty Muzzle and put in jail. Uh, can we just open it? I, I doubt it. Nope, doesn't seem like it. It's padlocked. Alright, how about you, then? No, you don't seem to do anything. Okay, well, we have this mug, I guess. We could use this. What is it? What's going on in here? Up to something in here, are we? Down, mutt. It's not your dinner time yet. Hmm. Seems to have been a false alarm. But I'll be back in here at the drop of a hat if there's any monkey business. Alright, well, there's something we need to do. How do we get the attention? Well, we don't really have... The, the bunny on you? On Sorry, Filcher, that's your name. Filcher! No? You're the one that drops... D uh, fakes dead after, like, a bang. So, start a pistol. There we go. Right, that might work. Let's try again. What's going on here? What's all the racket about? Oh, another blinking dead dog. The workshire well hadn't even been for walkies yet. <laughs> Pity. Ah, oh, get off me, you filthy beast. Oh, oh. That'll be an extra few hours pulling duty for you. No more out of you. Aha! We got the key! Brilliant! Can you give me the key, please? No? Alright, fine. I'll fire the star pistol at you again, then. Drop the key. Right, I'll just uh, nab that, if you don't mind, I think. I'll take this key. Alright, nice. Use the key on the cage door. And we're out. That was quite easy. Oh, no. Yeah, Grobbin's not very happy about that. That's a reference to the third short film, uh, A Close Shave. Um, where, essentially, he was trying to turn sheep into dog food. Alright. Um, okay, well, let's see what we can do now. Oh! Chicken alarm. Okay. That's going to cause a problem. We need to stop those chickens somehow. Well, we have grain available. We can probably keep them busy with the grain, right? Let's see if we go up this ladder. See what we've got. Go on, Gromit. Hurry up. Well, the top section here. Don't think Gromit is a big fan of heights, personally. Oh, there is a chicken here. We tried to disarm you. Nope. All right, let's use some bird seed then. There you go, have some of that. Right, that should now hopefully prevent <coughs> that security chicken from activating. That'll be quite good. Yeah, we seem to be all right. Okay, cool. Right, what do we got around here? We got fortune cookies. Alright. Might as well take one of those. Alright, Twitch. Can't do anything about that, I'm afraid, at the moment, Twitch. Uh, oh, we got this. Certainly get this wrench. What else we got? Uh, fortune cookie, the security chicken... Uh, I could take this. What's this? Oh! Alright, bucket of grease. Can I use the key on this lock? 
Surely it's not the same key for the lock, right? No. Okay. Hmm. We'd use the crescent wrench, I guess. There you go. On you, digger. Because you're the one that look, um, th that it looks like uh, a bone. Yeah. Go on, have that. Oi! We're slowing down already. Muscle! Your blinking ride's not fit for service. Blinking engine must have, uh, um, <laughs> died again. Ah. There we go. Woo! Got away with that one. <coughs> Alright, so there's only Filcher left now. So Filcher's doing that now. That's good. Digger is digging. So what happens if we use the fortune cookie in here? Because this is a muddy patch. Go on, Digger. Yeah! All right, that's gonna get Twitch out. Go on, Twitch, get in there. All right. Uh, what do you want? Nothing at the moment, I guess. Maybe the bunny. That might work. No? I don't expect the bunny to work on Twitch. Never mind. Okay. What have we got then? What can we do with this? <coughs> we've got everything up here, at least. I think we've done everything with all the dogs right now. We could go up this ladder. See what we've got. Sorry, Gromit. You're going to have to go up the ladder. It's a long old climb. Jeez, a very long climb. And dangerous. Yeah, I don't like the look of that either, to be honest. Gromit. What have we got? We got this ladder. We do have this vent. Oh, I could use the... Oh, I need to get the spanner, I think. I need to get the, span the, uh, the wrench for that. I do need that. Okay, let's go and get that then. Where'd it go? Fortune cookie, we got you. Did you put the sp Where'd the other dog go, by the way, as well? Hmm. Yeah, we don't have it. Can't open this door. From the look of it. Oh, we could go in the hole. Give me the spanner, please. Okay, do we... Do we take another fortune cookie by any chance? We probably do. Right. Do we chuck that in there? There you go. Right. Thanks for that. I'm taking this wrench, thank you. All right. Now it should be a bit better. Hopefully we'll be able to sort this out now. That'll be quite good. There seems to be a vent in there. I'm guessing we're supposed to crawl under the vent. Problem is, I don't think Gromit is slim enough to get through there. So let's use the spanner. There you go. Unloosen that bolt on that screw. Hmm. Well, thanks, game, for letting me know. Hmm. Can't seem to get through. Just Twitch. Well, okay, this is a simple option. We grease up Twitch. Yeah, have some horrible, disgusting grease. Not very happy about that. I'm not surprised. Get through. There we go. Nicely done. Pops out of his ear. Ugh. Oh, hello, Twitch. Uh, Gromit was looking for you. Enjoying the fair? Oh, uh, I see. 
you'd like to have a go on the right? Well, I don't know. Where the heck's Gromit? He should be showing you around. No, well, I suppose I can take a break. Let's go. I don't know if they let dogs on board, Twitch. Steady on. I know it's not fair, Twitch, but we can always ask. E easy there, boy. Got quite a bit of strength for a little fella. Thinking Laura. You mean poor Gromit's inside the ride? What happened, lad? Monty Muzzle? Heavens above. Uh, Twitch, you better stay out of sight. I've got to see about getting Mr. Muzzle to shut down his ride. Yeah, how are we going to do that, though? All right, Wallace. Oh, yes, everything seems to be in order here. Nothing to report. Woohoo! That blooming Bobby has been up there for an hour or more and won't get off. Says so he's carrying out an inspection. But he won't find anything untoward on any of my rides. Everything's above board here. Oh, uh, 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 of course. And what's that supposed to mean? Oh, uh, nothing. Your ride's had a spot of mechanical trouble, I see. Oh, no, no, that, 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 that's nothing. Um, purely cosmetic. Um, the uh, um, <coughs> inner mechanics still run like clockwork. Oh. I had to institute a weight limit, though. I don't want any heavy hands bringing things to a halt. No, of course not. Hmm. <coughs> Stevie guys. Ah. Right, Still same day as the first two. Pie, hmm. So there is a weight limit on it, so maybe a way to sort that out might be something to do with these two big gits over here the eating pie. Hasn't ended, yeah? Why no, it's a last man <clears throat> woman standing competition. Oh, who's winning? <clears throat> as if you had to ask, man. <laughs> By my count, the current leader by a thick crust is Mrs. Gabberly. Hogwash! Woohoo! Mmm! And I'm relishing every bite! Ah, I'm just getting warmed up! We'll see about that. Mr. Wallace, would you mind bringing Paneer this slip of paper here when you've a moment? Right, oh. Sounds so uninterested with that. All right. The would-be chomping champion continues to shovel pie down his gullet. But the major seems to have met his match in Vinny, the Wonder Nosher. Fair enough. All right, let's implore with uh, with, with, with these two lovebirds, shall uh, we? Duncan, Miss Blitz, where'd you use Rank Wallace? Uh, well, I, I don't know how to say this, but... Ah, uh... oh, come on. Don't be it. Dunk, let the poor man speak. I think Mr. Muzzle has dognapped Gromit. Dognapped? <laughs> oh, that's a good one. You mean to tell me that old Monty Muzzle, the charitable dog lover and second most sensitive, caring man in the fair, has swiped your mutt? Ha! Now that's right. Oh, uh, yes, I know it sounds ridiculous, but... Uh... Really, Wallace, it's not very charitable of you to be spreading rumours like that. Oh, uh, 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 well, uh, never mind then. Yeah, all you need to do, do, all you need to do is look in the bloody machine, idiots. Don't worry, we'll be sorting you out in a minute. All right. We could question you though, to be honest. Oh, uh, Mr. Muzzle. Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Wallace. I uh, hope ice cream sales are going strong. Well. Yes, the Infini flavors come into its own today. And uh, splendid, uh, splendid. Uh, and all that money, it's um, it's been uh, donated? Oh, yes. Uh, for the pups. For the pups. Mr. Wallace, if I can be straight with you for a moment. Of course, please. I'm afraid our little business arrangement isn't going to work out as I'd hoped. Given the current adverse climate, uh, uh, plus uh, 
new developments, technological advances, a shifting landscape of the ice cream world, etc., etc., etc. I'm not going to be able to help you turn the infinite flavor into a global brand. Oh, uh, well, I, I quite understand, uh, Mr. Muzzle, but that's not what I was inquiring about. I was wondering if you'd seen my Gromit. Uh, uh who? Gromit, my dog. Oh, the dog. <laughs> Why would I have seen him? Uh, probably wandered off with a poodle or Pomeranian. You know what dogs are like. Uh, yes. Never mind, then. If you've lost your dog, hire a dog catcher, Mr. Wallace. Don't look to me. Well, he's lying through his teeth, so we know we know that much. Because he's right there. Let's see what we got here, then. Gromit, I say, are you in there? Crack in Muzzle's ride is just too small for Gromit to escape through. Hmm. We'll try and sort that out then. Hmm. It's a clash of titans, ladies and gentlemen. The Munching Major versus the Guzzling Granny. Indeed. The fortunes. <laughs> Your duty is as neglected as an abandoned puppy. Oh, I've never abandoned Gromit. Hmm. Your hair could be mistaken for pirate's gold. Well, uh, perhaps this one isn't for me. I think we got some ideas, you know. We got some ideas. Okay. Mr. Paneer, my friend. It's meat pies by dawn. And by heck, look at that crossed fly. Here, have Edwina's note. Excuse me, Paneer. Mrs. Gabbley wanted me to give you this. Ah, must be a message to read out for the fair. <clears throat> Testing, one, two, one, two. All fairgoers are cordially invited to attend Mrs. Vinnie Gabbley's victory celebrations to be held later this evening at the Gabbley residence. Uh, that's everyone including Major Croft, so long as he's humbled by defeat and pie fatigue. A scandalous suggestion. You'll regret the day you taunted a crumb. Hmm. Well, do you know what? Let's ruin Duncan's poem then, shall we? And the action is now really heating up. Uh, a note, Mr. Paneer. Your hair could be mistaken for pirate's gold. But Duncan, isn't that the last line of your poem? The one you wrote specially for me? Why, uh, yes, my dear. Its greatness is such that uh, it's already been quoted. The poem you wrote each and every line of? Why, uh, yes, of course. How odd. And that little pick-me-up comes courtesy of Monte Muzzle's fortune-telling machine, generously shared by Mr. Wallace. Fortune? Wallace? Honey cakes? I can explain. Explain nothing. It's plagiarism. Lies. Deceit. I'm through with you, Duncan McBiscuit. Felicity, my wee North Country man. I wrote all those other lines. Especially that one about your haunches. Well, we wrecked their home. Nice. Right, um, uh, yeah, Miles will use this, uh, Duty Fortune, why not? Might get rid of the... Might get rid of the, uh, the constable. Uh, Dibbins. A note, Mr. Paneer. Your duty is as neglected as an abandoned puppy. That's odd. Stop the ride! That's enough. Suppose I'd better get back to the station. Duty calls. Nice. All right. I think my. Let's have a look at. Let's have a chat with these two then, because I'm guessing we probably need to get one of these two to go on the ride. One last bite, and another pie is gobbled by Gabbley. Enjoying a bit of the lead, eh, Mrs. Gabbley? Oh, I think I am, but I'm enjoying myself so much I've lost count. I can't believe you're in the lead. Look at the munching major. 
happen. But don't forget the tortoise and the hare, Mr. Wallace. Yeah, I have noticed these. Oh, yeah, look at these. Yeah, she's definitely winning. The Major's literally done like four. Hmm, looks like you and Mrs. Gabbley are about even in the count. Perhaps, but don't let your eyes deceive you. I've a commanding advantage. How's that, Major Crumb? My fighting spirit. And Mrs. Gabbley finishes yet another pie. <laughs> yeah, I'm not too sure it's going amazingly well, really, is it? Oh, the rest of me finished pies. The rest? But my stomach told me I'd got through more than just these appetizers here. And Major Crumb has just learned that Mrs. Gabberley is in the lead by a most devastating pie margin. Oh, not feeling too tickety-boo right now. I... I think I might have been out by the enemy. And it seems the Major might be giving up, though he's only nine pies behind. Nine? That's it. I capitulate. I surrender. Hoist the white napkin of chronic pie fatigue. Yippee! And down goes the major. Out for the count. And a boy, Mrs. Gabberley. Congratulations! Remember, ladies and gentlemen, if you like pies, Paneer's Purveyors of Peculiar Produce is open daily for all of your baking and pie-eating needs. I can't believe she beat me. I'll never be able to show my face in the officer's mess again. Never mind, Major Crumb. You guzzled gamely. Perhaps you just bit off a bit more than you could chew. Perhaps a man must know his limits. <sighs> the only thing that can lift my spirits now is a spin on that RAF ride, if you'll excuse me. Oh, I must have put on five stone. Hmm. And remember, whether you want pakora, pies, puddings, or pomegranates, they're all available at Panier's Peculiar Produce, just two minutes' walk from this fairground. Mr. Panier, can you start with the blatant advertisement as I'm about to go for a break? Thank you. Alright guys, well, I'm going to go for a break here, folks, but in the next episode of Let's Play Wallace and Gromit's Grand Adventures, maybe we can rescue Gromit. Who knows? I'll see you then.